There is so much fascinating history in the state of Michigan. We all know that. But to go deeper into the more local past, the past that more directly affects communities, is what's intriguing. The hometown heroes, characters, and true pioneers that actually formed the heritage of Michigan's regions, counties, towns, and villages is truly what's developed the character of the state. On this edition of Michigan Magazine, we explore an Oscoda County landmark that is laden with stories of amazing truth, legend, and lore. Ma Dieter's Restaurant, Bar, and Rooming House has been resting at the corner of M72 and Dieter Roads in Oscoda County since 1921. Then in 1941, the original structure was torn down and rebuilt, making it the largest log cabin east of the Mississippi in its day. This was also the year that the business namesake and original owner, Ma Dieter, lost her husband, William. Up till then, William and Anna Ma Dieter ran the business together. Ma Dieter was known far and wide for her philanthropic ways and support of community projects. Anna Lucille Ma Hartman Dieter was born in 1879, then passed away in 1967. Her final resting place is just up the road at the Luzerne Cemetery in Big Creek Township. Her tombstone is said to be the largest in the cemetery. Through subsequent owners, Ma Dieter's proprietors have come and gone, all maintaining and perpetuating the heritage of this landmark. On occasion, members of Ma's family have been known to stop by and visit with the current owners and to see how things are going. Always stop in when they come through. Um, there's one who lives in Harrisville. Okay. We have a picture of her wedding actually on our website. She was married in front of the fireplace. Oh, wow. So we met her. Um, they stopped in. She was on her way back from a doctor's appointment, her and her daughter. And she kind of showed us around where things used to be when she was a kid and how much it's changed over the years. And mm -hmm. I mean, most, the most thing everyone realizes is that when you walk in the door, there's no longer a staircase that goes up to the second floor. Oh. So, so what is up in that, in that second floor? Is there any more boarding here or is that just... Uh... There is, there's still the 12 rooms up there, okay. but it's not currently being used. Mm -hmm. okay. It's just, there's, the stairway is now in the kitchen, so it's not very easily <laughs> accessible for guests. Uh -huh. We ventured upstairs and found that time seems to have stopped, standing still as a monument to the past, as it was in Ma's day. We'll share more of our exploration of the upstairs and the building itself on future Michigan magazines. But today's visit was to see what is new at Mod Eaters and what keeps modern day patrons coming back. We get a lot of people downstate. They have cabins up here and mm -hmm. they, they come in over the weekends. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the summertime, we get a lot of vacationers here. And a lot of renovations have taken place already, haven't Yes, they have. We've done a lot cleaning the place up and uh -huh. just trying to make it look a lot nicer. and. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what, what you think the uniqueness of Mont Dieters is. What do you think the draw is? I think it's just the fact that the size of the building, the, you know, the, being one of the oldest log cabins, um, it's got, it's, it has a lot of history of mm -hmm. back in the sawmill days. You know, it used to be, it used to be a little bit of a rough, rough place back you know, in the day. Besides uh, the everyday bar fare that you might see at other bars, you know, hot dog hamburgers, you've got a full line here. Tell us a little bit about what you guys got cooking in the back. We do a full service restaurant menu. We are no, most known for our pizza and our fish. Mm -hmm. We do on Tuesdays and Fridays all you can eat Alaskan Pollock mm -hmm. with fries and coleslaw. Okay. Um, we serve our cod three different ways. We have deep fried, lemon pepper baked, Cajun cream, those all come with your choice of potato, vegetable, salad, or coleslaw. Mm -hmm. um, we do burgers, your normal we Dieter burger, which is a third pound patty with the grilled mushrooms, bacon, Swiss cheese, and a bun served with fries. Mm -hmm. We do we wet burritos, nacho supreme. Saturdays we have prime rib, which we draw a very good crowd in for that now. Really? Okay. Um, we started at five and we cook two primes and when they're out, they're out. Some days it's gone by six, some days it's gone by eight. You just never know. So. Oh my, my goodness. Now, what would you like people to take with them if they come to visit Mod Dieters? Uh, the history, the hospitality, or both of the above? Or? We're working really hard at getting a good home cooked, nothing pre-done. We make almost everything comes from scratch now. We roast our own lunch meats. Mm -hmm. So we're, I mean, we're, it's Luzerne. You're eight miles from the closest town. It has to be good food or there's no reason to drive out here. That's right. 
Except for mod eaters, of course. Right. And one of the newer features, I think, is your patio out there. I mean, you've got uh, quite, the, quite the structure out there so people can, you know, enjoy themselves out there. What else goes on out there? We rent the patio out a lot for private events. Okay. That's become quite popular over the past year. Um, a lot of charity events will do barbecues, um, we've done baby showers, wedding rehearsal dinners. So it's a great space for a private function because you can see about 100 people out there, so oh my, yeah. plenty of room. Many people say today they think Mott Dieter would be pleased at the way things have been going at her namesake, and still some say they are sure she is. For those who believe the spirit of Anna Lucille Ma Hartman Dieter still literally roams the upstairs rooms and hallways. Whether that's true or not, we know for a fact that the spirit of Ma Dieter is ever present in the heritage being perpetuated and preserved at the corner of Dieter Road and M72 in the crossroads community of Luzerne, Michigan. Historic Ma Dieter's Law Cabin, Restaurant and Lounge.